Hi, my name is Lexi Jong and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I am a regular person who really enjoys luxury makeup and that is the focus of my channel. So please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Today's video is a tag video that was originally created by Christina Brooke. It's the most likely tag. And I was tagged by Fotini Armstrong, who has been a really great supporter of mine. And she has also recently started a channel. So please check out her video and her channel. The link is down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. The first topic on the list is what product is most likely to look amazing after a long day. And for that, I picked the Patrick Ta lipstick in That's Why She's Late. This is one of the new releases and I was just really blown away with the wear time for this. It is a true classic red. There's a little bit of a blue undertone in there, but I personally was just wowed by how long this lasted on my lips. This is a matte suede lipstick and it is a little drying to my lips, so it's not a product that I would wear on a daily basis. However, what really blew me away about this is the wear time. So I applied this in the morning and the lipstick remained on my lips all day. And you know when you wear a lipstick how eventually the top layer kind of wears off and it either starts to look patchy or it's like maybe more of a pink stain. That didn't happen with this one. So at least not for quite a long time. I could definitely go six to eight hours with this on my lips with it still looking pretty freshly applied. And a little bit after that, you know, obviously if you're eating like a lot of greasy food or something, your wear time is gonna be less. But for a normal day for me, you know, this really does last all day and looks fantastic. I'm so. most likely to use for Halloween. That was a hard one to pick because I actually really do like some of the more gothy looking lip products and some of the eye products and things for not even just Halloween, but I really do like to wear them in the fall, winter, you know, that transition time. And I was down between the Surat Halogram shadows on the Dark Matter base or this Chanel lip gloss. And I ended up going with the Chanel lip gloss. It is a super, super deep purple. This is number 816. And it came out in the 2019 fall collection, I believe. Most likely to land me the job. For a job interview, I would like to look sophisticated. And in that case, I would go with neutrals. So I picked the Viseart Theory palette in cashmere. This is the first one, Theory One. And I love this palette. You've got three matte shades. You have three shimmer shades. They're all neutrals and they're pretty neutral on the spectrum. So I personally just love this. It's my go-to neutral shadow palette. Here are the swatches for the cashmere palette. And it's a little bit hard to see this first shade up here. It is a very light matte ivory shade. It kind of blends in with my skin tone here, but we have the top three mattes and then the three shimmers. Most likely to bring in the new year. I ended up, I was trying to decide which palette, but I decided I'd go with the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2. I think the pink and the duochrome here, they're just perfect for New Year's or any special occasion. And I thought it would be really fun. Most likely to get decluttered this year. I have a few things for that list. However, I decided to go with one of my most regretted purchases. I've actually almost decluttered these already and I would have given them to a friend if it weren't for COVID going on right now. So these have to make the list. They are the Tom Ford quads that came out at the beginning of the year. They are the Mink Mirage, Noir Fumé, and De La Creme that I have. And I love the color stories on these, but I do not like the formula. The formula was okay when I first got it, but now they just, they are applying patchily and they're just not up to par. They are not worth the purchase price in my opinion. So. Most likely to get me the guy. That is a hard one because I've never really worn makeup to get a guy. Uh, so I think I would just go with something that looks pretty natural with kind of a bright pop of color. So I picked the Chantecai Coral Blush. And I think that this blush just has a beautiful color, but it's unique so that you are a little bit different than a traditional blush. So here's the coral shade and here's the highlight that goes with it. 
And I absolutely love this blush. I wear it quite frequently. I love the formula of this. Let's make that a little bit deeper. Most likely to be my favorite for the year. This probably does not come as a surprise to those of you who watch my channel. And that is the Guerlain Meteorites Pearl Dust Palette. I love this highlight. I don't think I've ever loved a highlighting palette this much. And I just think it is incredibly versatile. And I like using it on my eyes. I like using it as a highlight. I think the colors are great. Obviously, when you swatch them, they look pretty pigmented. You can build them up that way. When I use them on the eyes, I definitely get those colors. And, you know, the product comes up very easily. You can also have more of a subtle highlight. And I like how there aren't really any chunks of glitter. It's more of a metallic finish. And it's, it's crushed up pearl. So it's just absolutely beautiful. Most likely to splurge on. I went with the Surat Perfectionist Primer. And I really like this. You can see I'm actually almost out of this. This retails for $95. I'm actually kicking myself right now for not picking up another tube of this when Surat had the 25%. I don't know why I forgot to add it to my cart, but I did and now the 25% is over. However, this I love this primer. So right now I'm trying to decide what to do when I use this up. I do have another travel size tube of it, but trying to decide whether I should repurchase this because I love it so much or try another primer that gets a lot of love like the Victoria Beckham Augustinus Bader primer. So if you have comments or suggestions on that, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear your opinion. Most likely to hit pan on, I went with the Chantecai Hummingbird palette in warm. The cool one, I'm also pretty tight on, so it's really a toss up between the two of those, but most likely I would hit pan on this slate shade. And I know it, I've worn it pretty flat, so you can't really tell, but if you, I'm not sure if you can see, if you look from the side, you can see that it is definitely not level with the top anymore like the rest. You can see the silver rim you know, going all the way around. So I do try to keep my palettes kind of flat looking. I don't know why, I just think it's more aesthetically pleasing to me. But this is a shade that I would definitely hit pan on as well as the taupe shade in the cool palette. And also that rosy pink one, pretty low on the two of those as well. Now, one of the reasons I would hit pan on these when I have so much eyeshadow already is also they are pretty small. So that does kind of help most likely to get me in trouble, I went with makeup brushes because these are some that I just recently purchased. I actually just washed them, haven't even used them yet. These are all from Chikahoto and they are just amazing. They have the new Kazan Squirrel brushes out and I really want to try those as well. But again, spending all this money on Makeup brushes will definitely get me in trouble because buying one, you, it leads to wanting more and so forth. Most likely to be in a regrets video, I went with the Chanel Gloss Lumiere in Mirror Do, And although I think it's a really pretty color and I think the product is interesting, I don't like it. So I like the concept, but it's just you know, it's one of those all-purpose products that you can use on your eyes to get that glossy eye look. You can use it on your cheeks for a highlight. You can use it on your lips. Pretty much I use it on my lips as a little bit of an iridescent lip gloss. You can see there's a pink iridescence to it. But I just find that the texture itself is a little bit too greasy. I don't like it on my eyelids. Everything creases immediately. I don't really care for it on my cheeks because it doesn't dry down. It just feels not sticky, but like a little sticky, like a sticky bomb type kind of consistency. It's just not a product that I enjoy and I regret purchasing it. Most likely to get me compliments. Usually I get a lot of compliments on lip products. So I went with my new favorite, the Sisley Lip Glosses. And I think out of the four shades that I purchased, the shade that I would get the most compliments on is this one, which is number five, Fireworks. And it is just a beautiful color. Oh, I didn't even realize I was going a little bit over the highlight there, but you can see that it is kind of like a fuchsia red shade with some pearl. It's beautiful, I love it. It's a little bit redder than crushed raspberry, in my opinion. Most likely to repurchase is the Westman Atelier Foundation Stick in shade N. This shade is 
fantastic for me. I really like this shade. It's what I'm wearing on my skin right now. I love the consistency of this and the ease of using this. And it's one of the best foundation matches that I found recently. I have fair neutral skin and a lot of times the neutral foundations, they either run a little bit too cool or a little bit too warm. It's really hard to find something with more of a beige undertone versus golden or rosy. And I think this accomplishes that. So I personally love this foundation stick and when I do use it up, I do plan on repurchasing it. And last but not least, we have most likely to look terrible after a long day and I went with the Ritual Defeat Eye Soots. So I really enjoyed the other Ritual Defeat products that I purchased. I like the brand overall. These eye soots, however, did not work for me. I purchased the Ashen Ember Eye Soot in Cultist, which I love this color. I definitely want this color in from another brand, <laughs> but unfortunately the formula of this does not work for me. It's a bit chunky and it's hard to get out. It's also a little bit dry, like a little crumbly. So although the shade is great, these crease on me pretty much immediately. The other one that I purchased is the Celest Celestial Sphere Isa in Lyra. And it's another, it's a beautiful color. It does have a different consistency. This one is much more creamy and balmy feeling. And you can still use this. I can use this still like as a cheek highlight and so forth. But again, it creases pretty immediately on my skin as well. So another so reason that I don't really care for these is the packaging. They look cute, but they are not practical because if you're getting your finger in here, I mean, look at the size of the hole compared to my finger. It's hard to get in there once you're past that top layer. It's also difficult to get a brush in there and get the product exactly where you want on the brush. You don't necessarily always wanna get product all over the bristles. And I think the way these are packaged makes it very difficult to use, especially once you get past that top layer. That sums up my most likely twos, and I would love to hear what you guys think down below. I would also love to hear what products you think fit in some of these categories. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. Again, please check out Fotini's video. I have that linked down below in the description box. I hope to see you guys in my next video. So thank you so much for joining me and have a great day. Stay safe and healthy.